Well, welcome to Old Classic Car and this collection of 150 photos featuring classic cars of the 1980s here in the UK. And we begin with a three-door Ford Sierra from 1983. That's followed by a Vauxhall Nova Saloon, the booted version of the Nova. This is from 1984, this example. Various 1980s cars in evidence here in the foreground is a Ford Escort RS Turbo Series 1 of the early 1980s. That's followed by a Peugeot 604 from 1983. These were built from 1975 through to 1985. There's a Fiat 127 alongside as well. And the Mercedes SCC, this was the two-door coupe version of the big S class, this one from 1989. And the Nissan Cherry Europe. So this was uh, a collaboration with Alfa Romeo. Alfa produced the engine and Nissan provided the body. And to Gaydon, and we've got an early Austin Mini Metro here. This is an X-Reg car from 1981. Series 3 XJ6 4.2. That's a private plate. This car's actually from 1986. If you're a fan of 1980s cars, please say hello in the comments and let us know what your particular favourites are. And here we have a G-Reg 1989 Peugeot 205 GTI. The early cars were 1.6 and the later ones 1.9 and those larger wheels suggest a 1.9. And here we've got a late example of a Rover Maestro. These came out as the Austin Maestro in the early 1980s of course. This one's about 1990. The Ford Fiesta Mark I, this one from 1980, a rare survivor, basic model. Got a Montego, the Austin Montego, or the Rover Group Montego, this f reg car is from 1988, and a slightly later example alongside it. And the Renault 4 from 1983, very much a car of the 1960s, but produced for a long time, just like the 2CV. Continuing with these classic cars, we've got a Fiat X19 here from 1982, two-seater, rear-engine little sports car. Quite popular back in the day, but most of them are rusted away by now. A Ford Fiesta Mark II here, a base model, I think, from about 1983. And here we have a Lotus Esprit Turbo. I think this is D-Reg, so that will be what, about 1986-1987 car? Very smart example indeed. The Reliant Scimitar, this is the GTC, the Cabriolet version from 1981. This was seen at the Cape Thorn Hall Classic Car Show earlier this year. And they've got a Volvo 240 here, this is a 1990 registered car, but very much a 1980s car in spirit on GLT Alley wheels. 107 series Mercedes-Benz SL here. This is a wire edge car from 1982. This was a Mercedes club gathering at Capes Thorn Hall. Head on view of a Talbot Horizon from 1983. You could usually hear these coming before they came around the corner. And the sad remains of a facelifted Mark I Renault Espace. With a similar example alongside. Early 1980s people carry, but this one had reached the end of the road. Another Renault, this is a Renault 21, a four-door saloon. Increasingly rare sight, at least in this country. Got a Triumph Acclaim next, 1981 Triumph Acclaim, the last gasp for the Triumph Car Company. Saab 99, another maker that's no longer with us. This is an X-Reg car from 1981. This was at Western Park, classic car show, back in the mid-2000s. An RS1600i, based on the Mark III Ford Escort. This was a forerunner of the XR3i. And here's a rare beast, an Alfa Romeo 6 Saloon, 2.5 litre car. Uh, this was at a very rainy Alton Park Gold Cup quite a few years ago. There's a rear view of the same car. Uh, such a rare sight. Is that still on the road? 
you can provide any background info or more information about any of the cars featured in this video, please pop a note in the comments. Next up, a 1983 Ford Sierra XR4i. Until the advent of the Cosworth, this was the performance version of the Ford Sierra for the early to mid-1980s. A Saab 9000 Turbo here from 1987. This was the Type 4 project in collaboration with Fiat, who did the Chroma and the Lancia with the Thema, and Alfa Romeo with the 164, the same basic structure in all four cars. That's followed by a Honda Civic CRX Coupe here, a Fred from 1988. This was at an auction, classic car auction, at Alton Park earlier this year. That's followed by a Porsche 911 with a whale tail spoiler. Very 1980s car. And the Ford Escort Mark II, a V-Reg, so what, 1979 to 1980, one of the last of the Mark II Escorts, just about creeping into the 1980s decade that we're looking at here. The Mercedes 123 Saloon, despite that P registration, this is actually a 1983 Mercedes Benz, that's a private plate that's on it. Next up, a Vauxhall Royale Coupe BRN 16V from 1979-1980. The rear three-quarter view of a four-door Mark V Ford Cortina Saloon, a 1.6 GL X-Reg car, 1981. The Fiat Strada 130TC, this was their hot hatch for the mid-1980s, based on the Fiat Strada. Here we've got a Rover 800, this is a 1990 registered cars, but these were built from 1986 all the way through to 1999, with various revisions along the way. Next up, a Rolls-Royce Silver Shadow 2. These were built from 1977 to 1980. So again, this one just about creeps in to the 1980s decade. And a BMW, we've got an E23 Series 7 Series Saloon here. This is a 1982 car, the 735i, with a 3.5 litre straight six engine. The Austin Metro, this one from 1989, by which point you could have them as a five-door hatchback. Initially, they were only available as a three-door hatch. The Mark I Vauxhall Astra, these were built from 1979 through to 1984. A182 JJU, that's an Audi 80 Quattro from 1983, in rally guise. The rear three-quarter view of a Ford Cortina Mark V Estate, the 1.6 litre car from 1982. Here's a little rarity, 1986 Renault 9 Broadway, limited edition no less. Pop-up sunroof and other little extras to be found there. And next up we've got an E30 BMW 3 Series G-Red from 1989. Bright red two-door saloon, immaculate example. BBS Alley Wheels. The Ford Escort Mark III Gear from 1982. You just about to see the gear badge on the front wing. Gear for the plush, posh version of the Ford Escort. Talking of plush, push, plush and posh even, we've got a Bentley Mulsanne Turbo R, a French car from 1988. And to the uh, Chumley Castle Classic Car Show, we've got a Vauxhall Astra GTE Mark I from 1984. A Citroen GSA from 1980. And this is the Sierra Sapphire. This is an early 90s registered example, but the Sapphire, the booted version of the Sierra, was introduced in 1987. Here we've got a stretched limousine version of the Volvo 760 GLE, this one from 1989. Looks like it's on wedding duties. A very early Land Rover Discovery 1 from 1988. This is down at Gaydon, the British Motor Museum. And one of the Camel Trophy discos behind it. And then Nissan Bluebird five-door hatchback. Uh, this is a 1987 car. One time these were everywhere, but not so much now. There's a Maestro behind it and the Mark II Golf alongside. And then XR3i Cabriolet, based on the Mark IV Escort, and neighbor of ours used to have one identical colour to that. 
And this is the Clan Clover. These were built from 1985 to 1987 only, after which the company folded. There's a Clan Crusader before that, of course. This is the E34 series BMW 5 series. This is a 525i from 1989, November 1989 this was registered. And a Citroen 2CV. This was well, Originally this was a pre-war design, um, but it was made for several decades afterwards. This is a 1980s example. And a Lotus XL, this time they were using various Toyota components, witnessed by the Toyota Supra Alley wheels that you can see on this particular example. Here we've got a Rover, this is a 216 GSI J-Reg from 1991, but very much uh, 1980s design, the R8 series Rovers. Side view, a Porsche 944, this was at Alton Park, the racing circuit, a few years back. Carry on with these 1980s cars, we now have a Ford Orion from 1984, this is a Gear, again the plush version of the Ford Orion with RS Turbo Alley wheels in this case and some R2 Golf alongside and here we've got a Saab 99, a two-door turbo in black this was a 1980 car still plenty more 1980s cars to come and this is a VW Golf Driver from 1989, five-door hatchback A couple of warmish hot hatches of the 1980s. We've got a Vauxhall Nova GTE in the foreground and a Mark II Fiesta XR2 alongside it. Talking of hot hatches, here's the MG Metro Turbo, uh, all body coloured white with bright red uh, seat belts, pop up sunroof, all mod cons for the 1980s. And an MGB Roadster, because even though this is a late 70s example, they were built up until about 1980 or 81. So it's a 1980s car, so it fits in here just about perfectly. Here to the late 1980s now, about 1987, we've got a 525i based on the E28 BMW. And a rear three-quarter view now of a 1979 Saab 900 Turbo. Very smart and very rare car now, though. Slightly later than 1980s, but very much an 80s design. This is the M100 series Lotus Elan front wheel drive car. Back to Metros and then an early MG Metro with non original grille with those extra lamps in it, showing off its transverse 1.3 litre A plus series engine. Another one of Dagenham's finest. Here we've got a Ford Sierra 4x4, the XR 4x4. Um, V6 four-wheel drive 1989 and it's the end of the road for this particular Mercedes-Benz 190e spotted in a scrapyard many years ago one of the jelly mold shaped Granadas I think this was a Mark III Ford Granada G-Reg 1989 this was at an auction earlier this year one of the MGB LE limited editions. The last thousand cars were done up as LEs about 1980. This is a rare old bird from 1981. This is a Toyota Celica Sun Chaser. Uh, outside conversion, the cabriolet conversion of the Celica. And next up, a 1984 BMW 635 CSI. 3.5 litre straight six engine under the bonnet, of course. And the Citroen AX, this is a 1991 registered car, but very much a car of the 80s. These were built from 1986 all the way through to 1998. G728 CDU, that's a 1989-1990 Honda Civic hatchback. Once very common, but not so many now. The review of the Morris Ital, this is a 1982 car on period Wolf Race Alley wheels. To 1984 now, we've got a Renault 5 Turbo 2, the rear engined rally weapon of the mid 1980s. And Alton Park again earlier this year, we spotted this in the public car park of Volvo 740. These were built from 84 to 1992. 
the Ford Fiesta XR2 Mark II, this one from 1988. Mark V Escort alongside, a bit newer. The good old Range Rover, the Range Rover Classic, this one from about 1981, 1982 or thereabouts. Very smart, 3.5 litre Rover V8 engine under its bonnet. The Porsche 928, these were the car of the year in 1978 and continued in production throughout the 1980s and into the 1990s. Sticking with Porsche for a moment, we've got a 944, this is an S2 Cabriolet, just about the end of the decade that we're interested in. This is a turbo version. The Lada Neva, Lada's four-wheel drive car, this particular one, a D-Reg car from 1986, was seen at the Alton Park Gold Cup only this year. And the remains of a Toyota Space Cruiser, their MPV of the early 1980s, about 1983 or 1984. Here we've got a Mark IV Ford Escort Estate, EU reg car, 1987 to 1988 that particular series ran for. And just about sneaking into this 1980s period, we got a first generation Mazda RX-7. These were built from 78 to 1980. Another car just about creeping into this particular selection, we've got a Ford Escort RS2000. This is a V-Reg car from about 1979 to 1980. Just about makes it in here. Same with this one, a Triumph Dolomite Sprint. Back to the NEC and the classic car show. This is a Lancia Gamma Coupe. There's another blue one in the background, but look at that black car. That's the Lancia Beta Saloon. And to Blackpool now and a TVR 350i from 1989. Another Fortiera, this time a five door hatch in beige from 1982. Flat-fronted uh, 1986 Porsche 911. Curiously, this one's been off the road since 2010, so if you can uh, fill in with any information as to what's happened to it, I'd be interested to know. Citroen BX, quite an early example. This is a 1983 car, and these were introduced in 1982 and continued until 1994, and all 2.3 million were built. This is about 1989 or 1990, thereabouts, an Audi Coupe Quattro. The 1980s 911 alongside. Saab 900i, uh, mid 1980s two door saloon with the earlier turbo alloys, the Incas. Ferrari 1984, this is a 308 QV Quattro Valvol. Good old Ford, this is the Capri from 1982, the car you always promised yourself. An XJ40 series Jaguar XJ6, this is a 3.6 car, it no longer shows as registered on DVLA, so what happened to it? Did it end up being scrapped or has it just been re-registered somewhere? And an FSO Polonaise from 1984, this is a rare car, this has been off the road uh, last time OT'd in 2014 to 2015, so where is it now? Undergoing restoration somewhere, I hope. Classic Italian now, an Alfa Romeo Alfa Sud Sprint from 1987. Classy Jaguar XJS here, this is a V12 car from 1988, 5.3 litre HE. Alfa Romeo GTV6, this car is from July 1983. A Maserati Quattro Porte here from 1980. Bit of the Hyundai Stella going on there, I think. And a Triumph TR7. This is a fixed head coupe from 1980 or thereabouts. Continuing these 1980s cars here in the UK, we've got a Renault Alpine from 1981. Another Citroen BX in the background. 
Like I say, if you like these classic cars of the 80s, please say hello in the comments and let me know what your favourites are. And that's followed now by an E12 Series 5 Series BMW. Uh, Alpina additions there, front air dam and the alley wheels. One of the last, surely, Morris Ital Estates. This one registered in 1984. Also from the mid-1980s, we've got an Opel Manta GTE, the hatchback, the fastback version of the Opel Manta. A gaggle of DeLoreans here, with a similarly aged Audis in the background, early 1980s, a lot of them. A good old Mini, this one from 1980, this was at the 60th cent anniversary celebrations at Gaydon. Back in 2019, there's a Mini 25 in the background, limited edition. Another limited edition, this is a Saab 900 Turbo Carlson, in memory of Eric Carlson, the former rally driver. This one from 1990, but very much a car of the 1980s. And another TR7, this time a drophead coupe, on period Wolf Race wheels, by the look of it. A TR6 alongside. To the Haynes Motor Museum, and we've got a very swish Ferrari 400i front engine V12 car, very classy car. The Morris Marina 2 here from about 1980, increasingly rare sight now, one of BL's finest. Off to Blackpool for this one, H registration TVR S series car, spotted at Alton Park. Back to the NEC Classic Car Show, and we've got an immaculate Ford Fiesta XR2, a Mark 1. Really original, very rare car now. The Mighty Wedge, the Aston Martin Lagonda, this is a Series 2 car from 1982. The upmarket version of the Rolls Royce Silver Shadow 2, if such a thing were possible, this is a Silver Wraith 2 from about 1980. The TWR prepared Rover SD1, the 3.5 litre V8. TWR for Tom Walkinshaw Racing. Continuing these classic cars of the 1980s, we've got a Reliance Fox of 1986. Quite a rare sight nowadays. Another Reliance, this time a Scimitar SE6. This is from 1980. There's that Saab 900i alongside it. This was at the Chumley Castle Classic Car Show. Here, an ex Cheshire Fire Brigade Land Rover. Well, the Talbot Matra Rancho, very rarely spotted nowadays. This is a 1981 car and shades of Land Rover Discovery 1 in the overall design of that car, I think. A couple of Audis, a Coupe Quattro in the foreground, and an Audi 80 Sport from 1984 alongside it. Another Coupe just out of sight over to the right there. The first of two Renault Fuegos to feature in this collection of photos. This is a Renault Fuego Turbo from 1983. Is that car still around and on the road, I wonder? This was at Tatton Park many years ago. There's an acquired taste. This is the Alfa Romeo SZ. This one is about 1989, 1990 or thereabouts. Oh dear, end of the road for this MR2 Mark 1. Wasn't a particularly rusty, so maybe a mechanical malady saw it dragged away to the scrapyard. Nowhere near a scrapyard is this Volkswagen Golf GTI Mark 1 from 1982, following one of its older brothers there. This magnificent machine was at an evening classic car meet a few years ago, Citroen CX25 GTI Turbo 2. Yes, I did write that down. To the La Vion Bleu at Prescott Hill Climb a couple of years back. This is a Renault Alpine from 1981 or 1980. Slightly later Alpine in front of it. The Peugeot 205 GLD. This is a Hungarian registered car we spotted. The 205 was introduced in 1983 and continued in production all the way to 1998. A classic car of the 1980s that's long since disappeared, the Reliant Scimitar SS1, introduced in 1984 and continued in production until 1990. 
A brace of Porsche 911 Carreras here. The year registrations that dates from about 1986-87. Here's that other Renault Fuego. It's, there's a TL version, 322 HDV. That's a private plate, which no longer appears to be registered to that car anymore. So where's the car now, I wonder? The Sunbeam Toggle Lotus, really popular in rallying in the late 70s and the beginning of the 1980s. Um, but sort of faded out of use with the advent of the 4x4 cars, four-wheel drive quattros and so on. And here's a real rarity, Mark 1 Honda Prelude, this W-Reg car from 1980, spotted at a classic car show a little while back. These were built from 78 to 1982. Another 80s favourite that's all but disappeared from our roads, this is B-Reg 1984, Renault 18. Quite an interesting old Saviem lorry behind it. Here's an Alpina B9, a 3.5 litre 5 series BMW based car. Very smart indeed, this one registered in 1983. The Wartburg from 1984, quite a rare left hand drive two stroke car. Down at Race Retro a couple of years ago, we spotted this Ferrari 328 GTS, looking a bit muddy, left hand drive. Good to see one being used properly. And back to Alton Park and the Gold Cup a few years ago, a Citroen BX19 TGD, quite a late example of the breed. An MG Montego, an EFI, this was a race prepared example, also spotted Alton Park in 2017. The Triumph Spitfire, quite a late example from 1981. The Spitfire first came along in 1962 and, like the MGB, continued into production just about until the 1980s. Here we've got a coupe version of the Opel Manta. This is an Irmsche i200 modified example from 1983. A Leyland Mini 1275 GT from 1980. Anyone who remembers uh, rallying back in the 1980s will remember seeing these class winning Skodas. This is a Skoda 130L from 1987. And to round out this collection of 1980s car photos, we've got a Lamborghini Countach of 1987. Well, I hope that collection of 150 photos was of interest. I apologise if I didn't include your favourite 1980s car in there, but I couldn't fit them all in. Maybe I'll do a volume two if there's sufficient interest. But for now, thanks very much for watching. Please check out some of the other videos that are on the channel and uh, more videos very, very soon. Bye for now.